It just tastes fake. This is really not good. I can taste the grass that the cow ate. This is absolutely delicious. This one doesn't even rank. We're just gonna, we're just gonna toss it out. That's, that's what I think. Hey friend, have you ever gone into Costco and saw that giant wall of protein shake boxes? And a little bit intimidated, you maybe picked one up, traded your clams for it, brought it home, broke it open with the crowbar, and then tasted the first one only to find out that you absolutely hated it. And then maybe later on that night, you on your queen size bed. Well, I went to my local Costco today to pick up the four brands that I had, and I'm gonna try them, taste test them, and tell you which ones I think are the absolute best so you don't have to go through that nightmare on your own. Let's get into it. Here we are with our four contestants here and I just got back from a workout so I'm just gonna dig right in and not waste any time. Premier Protein, 30 grams of protein. I remember these since I knew what a protein shake was. I have this nostalgia of like Slim Fast, and I know that sounds bad, like you immediately think Slim Fast and you think bad, but I could totally drink multiple ones of these. I could drink this and it doesn't throw me off. It seems very comfortable. It's like the safe space. It's like the person maybe you keep calling late at night. It's definitely not your spicy, fun hookup. This is uh, this is tried and true. 30 grams of protein. I could do this one. This is not bad at all. I'd give it probably four out of five. Muscle milk. I remember this from YouTube videos, the, one of the first YouTube videos ever. And he's like, muscle milk, HGH. He's all about getting jacked and this new haircut. If you don't remember that, then you're just young and that's fine. Yeah. Young is good. The first thing I taste is fakeness. You can just taste the sweetener in it. It tastes like really bad protein powder. It's not good at all. It reminds me of some of the worst protein dessert recipes. I don't know where that fake chocolate comes from but it's gross. I don't like this one at all. I'd say two out of five on the muscle milk for sure. Okay, this is a new one I've never seen. Orgain, they're from New Zealand, so you know it's good. New Zealanders are awesome. They made the Lord of the Rings there. There's like hobbits and fantasy creatures. This is, this is made in a fantasy world. This isn't even real. It's also sweetened with monk fruit, which is cool. I haven't seen that happen. New Zealanders are up and coming. They're futuristic. Okay. This is very clean tasting. I can taste the grass that the cow ate before they took and made the protein from it. That's the best thing I can say about it. It doesn't make it bad necessarily. And this is the lowest calories out of all of them, but it's also the lowest protein. So. If you're into health, you can taste the grass in this one. I'm not saying that's bad. This is the cleanest tasting protein shake so far. It shows. I'd give it probably 3.7. I'd almost rather drink this, but still good. Not bad. All right, Fairlife. I've been seeing them a lot lately. Uh, 30 grams of protein. It's in a weird bottle. Let's try it out. That can't be good for you. This tastes like, like a Wendy's Frosty, a ch Wendy's chocolate Frosty that's been melted and you chill it cold and you drink it. This is absolutely delicious. This is a five out of five right here. The only thing I could say about it is there's no like creaminess to it. It's not really like a shake, I guess, but some of these aren't either. This one, this one is like, like the cleanness of it. There's no like, thickness to this at all. They didn't use any gums or anything like that to thicken it up. This is like drinking chocolate milk uh, out of like high school. You know, you'd like trade your friends, except for it's absolutely delicious. If you find these in your Costco, get them. 160 calories, 160 calories, 130 calories, 150 calories. These two have 30 grams of protein each. 
you got 25 grams of protein, you got 20. The weird thing about this one is it has nine net carbs. They don't really have the monk fruit listed. You really can't tell how much sugar alcohol they're using in these, so I'm just taking net carbs off of total carbs minus dietary fiber. You're looking at nine net carbs for this guy. You know the grass. Three grams of fat, 4.5 grams of fat for the worst one, and then you got two and 2.5. Fair Life wins hands down. There's not even close to a tie. My second is Premier Protein. Third is Orgain. This one doesn't even rank. We're just gonna we're just gonna toss it out. That's that's what I think. Final thoughts. Thank you guys for joining me today. After having boxes and boxes of protein shakes for weeks and weeks, what seems like forever. I truly wish that I would have stuck with the Premier Protein. I ended up gravitating more towards muscle milk than Orgain just because it had more protein and I was just trying to be efficient. I ended up going with my 30 grams of protein more than I would go with either one. I started drinking the Orgain just to get rid of it. Fairlife is tall. It's in a bottle instead of a carton. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but we have all of our drinks in a tiny mini fridge to save space for baby food and things like that. It's really hard to store. so. After having it for a few weeks, I would say that Premier Protein ended up coming out on top. Uh, Fairlife was second when it comes to sustainability. Then we had Muscle Milk and then Orgain because when you're dealing with 30 versus 20 grams or 25 versus 20, you're probably gonna choose the most protein. My friend, thank you for joining me today. If you found value in this, please like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.